Ready? And away they go from that 1160 meter mark. Goliath Heron towards the middle inside got out well. I Am Giant is on the extreme outside in the red sleeves and the red cap. Gallivanting is racing in second. Mercantor is back in third. Goliath Heron behind them, then Vegas High Rise, Eternity Ring. Kayla's Champ is further back in the field, then Chaivana in the striped cap and the red sleeve. 6 7 off the leader. Captain Einside to the inside, Lucy in the sky, and Mardi Gras the trailer as they make their way past the 500 meter marker. I Am Giant is in front. From in second, Gallivanting. Goliath Heron back in third. Mercantor runs behind that. Chayavana chases after the leaders. They're about three or four lengths off them. I Am Giant in the middle is the leader. Gallivanting behind that, Mercantor. Chayavana is looking to run on. Goliath Heron is over to the inside. Now Chayavana coming at I Am Giant. Goliath Heron, they spread across the track here. Chayavana, I believe, just got there. I am Giant and Goliath here and back along the inside. Secure the fourth possession. Head on, let's take a look at the closing stages. Eight, eleven, nine, four. 81194. That's just come from the judge. Thanks for that, judge. And so it is uh, going to be Chayavana, number eight on the card. That does certainly go on best of all to secure the victory. Well done to Johan Janssen van Vieren. It was Gavin Lorena's turn here. The Werner's family, as well as Mr. Wilson. Mr. Perdstein is involved as well. And Everett Hall and the running breeders here, Main Chance Farms. That's the third, the start of today's Pick Six. Number eight, Chai Vaughan has come through to win for Johan Jansen van Furen. A few owners involved here, yeah, of course, the Werners family, Mr. Wilson, Purzel, and uh, Mrs. Uh, Everett Hall as well. Well then, to all concerned, Main Chance Farms and Gavin Arena aboard for the first time. Gav, uh, you know, Han had this uh, horse nice and fit, looked really well here after the race, and well done to you and, uh, and the team. Yeah, he looked great in the ring, Lyle, and um, it was a fantastic win today. You know, obviously, it's not easy to win five races with a horse, so Johan's placed him nicely, and, uh, you know, he showed a lot of courage today. He got up late. Certainly, something I've forgotten to ask the first two jocks. How's the track, by the way? How's it feeling? Yeah, the track's, the track's uh, good, Lyle. Um, you know, it's quite a testing track out there today, uh, but, but good. And that probably suited you, the way this horse runs? Yeah, look, they went quite quick up front, and he almost could have mustered the speed at about the 1,000. So, you know, I just had to wait for him. But, uh, you know, 700 out, he started to grow under me, and, you know, I was able to, to ride him confidently. Well, and okay, one more question. Just uh, any others we need to include for you today? Uh, just trying, eh? We've got Southpaw in the next race. Um, he's been rested for a bit. We've got scoops on him. We just hope he loads in the pens today. And uh, I've got Supreme at the back of the card. He's a wonderful horse. Also, he's coming off a gelding. So it's more of a prep run, uh, I think, for a bigger race later in the month. Thank you, Gav. Thank you. Big thanks to Volkerbos, Drift and Miris Fontaine and to all the winning owners. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. Right, uh, let's get Johan into the picture here. Johan, um, Brandon did a chat with you there and you said your best was uh, Calahari Blue and I was actually wanted to go through the mic and say I thought your best was this one. That was a nice one. Listen, I said Calahari Blue weak best, you know. Um, you did. I, I knew this horse would have a chance. Um, it's just, it's competitive, you know. We haven't done a lot of work, like we said, but listen, a lot of people are on the same boat. Um, I'm just not one that takes chances at home or all the way to a month later, you know. I'm just one of those people. That's why majority of them probably end up lasting until they're five or six years old. But, um, yeah, listen, um, Keegan wasn't too keen to, <laughs> to, to get off him, but um, we, we do work as a team and he eventually um, ag agreed because we obviously Gavin couldn't make the weight on the other horse. So, um, yeah, nice one-two for the, for the owners and um, lovely to have Wolfert on course. He's, he's a shareholder in, in Shavanya. Um, and um, Lance, Lance in Durban, um, who else am I missing? Lawrence and Harry. Um, I'm not sure if I'm missing anybody. Justin from Mark might be in here. Nope. But anyway, um, and Everett Hall. Yeah, Wolfert, yeah. Wolfert yes. Hall, yeah. And yeah, so just well done to all of them. Um, they went nice and quick. Yeah, they did. Which I think suited yes. us, yeah. I yeah. agree. Mm -hmm. um, you've got, uh, you did mention Calorie Blues, your next weakest best, but Moon Shining Few, did the Moon are Shining Through, do you think they could give um, the, the talented filly a go? Um, when she's at her best, definitely yes. Um, matter of fact, I think she'll give most horses a go when she's at her best. I just, after her last run, she pulled up a little bit footy. Um, she was off for a whole year last year because of a bloody seedy toe. And it's been very wet and that thing started up again. So 
Um, listen, we've been we've done a lot of work in the last ten days. The farriers have spent hours on her. So watch her go down and make up your mind from there. She's she's super talented. I'm just not sure if I have her at a very very best today. You always tell me the best horses always have the issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, she is she's talented. Um, field cut up not quite nicely. As in the whole week, as in too much whether we should run, whether we shouldn't run. Um, but between the ferry and the vet, they got a probably I would say in like 90% to moving um, uh, as, as good as we could. Um, and yeah, so a lot will depend on how she goes down. Just go down and, and Bunt has got to make up their own mind from there. Thanks, John. Awesome. Thank you. Here we go. Anthony, please step in here representing. Wilfred, please, you've got to come in here as well. Uh, I don't often get to interview other guys with uh, your horses, but well done. Thank you very much. Um, obviously, very well done to Johan, Gavin. Uh, we obviously ran the exactus, so well done to Young Crawford on uh, that run and uh, Keegan. Uh, Wilfred uh, was saying to me on the way down, it's the first time that he's been here when the horses won, so it was good for him to, to lead the horse in for once. Very well done to Lawrence, he's still on holiday. Uh, to the rest of the team, to Harry Wilson, to Everett Hall and obviously Wil uh, Wilfred. And very well done to all, you know, the entire team for coming together and getting the exacta. How long is this holiday going on for? Lawrence is the boss, so he can take off as long as he likes. Thank you, sir. Now, Wilfred, lovely to have you on course to lead in your horse this time. It's a pleasure. I just want to thank uh, Lawrence for giving the opportunity to share in the share of the horse. You're on with training and the jockey for a good ride. And then I must mention uh, Justin for Mark. He got me involved with a lot of horses, and this is the first one I uh, lead in. And thank you for everybody, and Happy New Year to everybody. And you're in illustrious company with this, uh, this horse and these owners, aren't you? I appreciate it, and I so much uh, appreciate it to associate with Mr. Lawrence Werners. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you very much. Well, well done. Well done to the whole team. Uh, Chai Vaughan has done the job here. Gavin Arena riding that, uh, well, I expect the pace really suited Chai Vaughan. It worked out well. 8, 11, 9 and 4. That's race 3. Pick 6 uh, time now closed. Jackpot 1 race 4 coming up next.